In this book bolt tutorial, I'm gonna go through some text features. The first thing I always do when I create a book cover is I go up here to this button right here. It's called Elements. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna grab a rectangle and I'm gonna make the rectangle the size of the book cover. So I'm just gonna make it nice and big. I'm gonna stretch it so that it's slightly larger than the book cover. And you can toggle these menus on and off by simply selecting the button a second time. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is lock this in place. So I have the black book cover selected. I'm happy with the way that looks. I'm gonna go here to my layers panel, which is over here on the right hand side. I'm gonna select this little arrow button and it pops open and I'm gonna lock it. So I'm gonna click the little lock button right there. Now, when I'm clicking over top, nothing's happening. So I don't wanna be monkeying around with the black box in this video. From here, we're gonna start talking about text. The text button is right here. It's the third one down on the left menu. I'm gonna select the text button and we'll see we have a few different options here. Add heading, add multi-line text. I am gonna select add heading and we have a heading added into the design. Now you'll notice I can't see it because the font is black and the black box that is my book cover is also black. So the first thing I'm gonna do is change my text color to white. I just select this little button here at the top and I've got options at the top or I can select any color in my palette by just dragging my mouse around. And you'll see down at the bottom here, there's a color swatch palette. So you can make it any color you like. When you're happy with that, simply select OK. I do wanna point out, you also have what they call a hex number or a hex code right here at the top. You can insert that. And you've also got RGB CMYK options here as well. So I'm happy with the way that looks. I'm gonna select OK. That is now my heading. I'm gonna go right here to the top, put it right there. Now, whatever I wanna call my book, I'll just simply select the text and start typing. So here I've typed in my name and you'll see, oh no, it's a bit too large. So you can easily change the size of this by simply selecting it and then moving one of the corners in or out. That will make the text larger or smaller. Another thing you can do is select the text and then go up here to this text button. You'll see the text size and you can make the font larger or smaller there as well. So it's personal preference. You can also change the line height. I can make the line height more or less. I can also make the text wider or skinnier. It's all personal preference. Whatever you're happy with, select OK, and that looks pretty good. I'm gonna make sure here that this is the right size for the top of my book cover. Now, another thing you can do, especially if you've got a spine of the book, eventually your spine gets thick enough that you can put text on it. And when you do that, you can select the top and you can rotate the way this looks. So you can select this right here if your book cover has a fat enough spine. You can change the font that you're using by selecting this font option right here at the top. It defaults to open sans, but when I select it, you'll see there's a whole bunch of different fonts and I can select any font there in the menu. I've got it under free fonts and you'll see now the font has completely changed. If you have a font that you would like to add, you can actually add it right into BookBolt. So I've selected the layer that has the font I'm gonna select my font right here, this Aleo, and I can see I've got my fonts. So you might not have anything under my fonts, but you can upload a TTF or a WOFF or an OTF file, and you can upload. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna click the upload button, and I have a million billion fonts sitting on my computer that I really love keeping. So I'm a bit of a font hoarder, so I'm gonna select one here. I really like Bebas Nui, for example and I'm gonna select open. And now it's uploading into BookBolt. I'm happy with the way that looks and I'll select okay. So now I can select that from my list. So I do need to select the font if that's what I'd like to do. I'll go into my fonts, I'll select it. I'll click outside and we can see now my font is this Bboss Nui font, which I've used over the years. I really like that font. You can do some effects on fonts as well. So I'll make this nice and big here so we can see this. One thing that you can do is you can change the background color on this. So I'm gonna select the background color option and I'll make the background color, for example, green. Now, I don't use this a lot in high-end books, but it's a cool feature once in a while if you wanna do some sort of a shading. If you don't like the way this looks, it's a very easy way to undo it. There's a little undo button right here. Just select it. You'll notice the little triangle went back one little dot. And so I've undone that option. Now, if you decide later on that you wanna change it and you can't do the undo feature, not a problem, just select the font, go up here to the top that says background color, select it, and you'll notice there's an X option. 
that looks like it's white, but it's not white. It's actually no color at all. So when I select that, it actually removes it. There's a few basic effects inside of BookBolt as well. So I'm gonna click the effects button right here. And you'll notice there's a distortion, warp, curve, custom. There's also some shadow options down below. So make sure to scroll down and you can see different options. I really like the blur shadow, for example. So I'm just gonna move this box over here to the left and I'm gonna click on blur shadow. Now my font instantly has got some blur shadow to it. Now it's gray, I can change that color. So I'm gonna to go to yellow, for example. I'm gonna make it a yellowy orange color. You can move this box up. I'll click okay. And we can see now I've got some blur sitting on my text, which I really like. There's an offset option. There's also an angle. And there's also the increase or decrease of the blur. So you can make this completely your own. Now, if you don't like this option after a while, you'd like to turn it off. Just simply select this blur shadow right here. And that will simply render this invisible. So whatever it is you've got selected, it'll just turn it right off. A feature that you may not use a lot, but it's kind of cool to know, is there's actually a link button right here, and you can link text, like a hyperlink to a website. So that's what I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna select my text, and I'm gonna go up here to the link option, I'm gonna click it, and you'll see there's a link reference right here. And then you just click inside the box, you can paste in whatever your link is, and I'll click OK. So this would actually create a hyperlink, so when it's published as a PDF, when you click on this, it would actually take you to my website, which is my Zen Water Cooler page. I do wanna point out the other text option here, so I'm gonna select the interior page, page number one, and if you'd like to put a bunch of text inside your page, when you select the text button option, instead of clicking add heading, you can click add multi-line text. And when I do that, you'll see it just inserts some Latin, and I can then use this as a text box, and I can start typing any sort of text that I would like to have inside my book. And it has all the same features as before. I can move it around, I can make the text box larger or smaller, and I can highlight all the text, so Control A inside the text box, and I can make the text larger or smaller depending on the font size that I select. Same deal as before, the line height I can increase or decrease and the character spacing I can increase or decrease as well. So all the same features as before, it's just inside my BookBolt page instead of my cover. I really hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I love using BookBolt. I'll put a link to BookBolt in the video description below. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link and that just means if you click on that link and you purchase the BookBolt subscription, I would receive a small commission. I use BookBolt a lot to make sales on Amazon KDP, and you can too. Check out this video on how you can have some more fun using BookBolt.